Hey babes, what is up? It's Haley and oh, welcome back to my channel. You guys, I've been struggling on what to title this video because I have the concept in my mind. A thrifting for fall trends video, I guess. So what I did is I compiled a list. A stunning, beautiful, amazing list of everything that I want to go ahead and thrift. So the first trend I want to say, I'm going to be calling these trends, but these are just things that I'm loving right now, is color. I know when it comes to fall, winter, a lot of people tend to gravitate towards neutrals. And I'm definitely a neutrals girl, but lately I've been really falling in love with throwing in a little bit of color into outfits. Some colors that I'm going to be keeping an eye out for today are going to be blue, green, brown, and especially red. More fall pieces on this list. Corduroy pants, of course. Boot cut jeans. I love the jeans that flare a little bit at the bottom. A quilted jacket would be such a cool find. And a plaid skirt too. Not like schoolgirl vibes, but more this kind of look. Overalls to be paired on top of the sweater. I would love that. Stripes, of course, I had to add to the list. Cool jackets in general. And shoes, shoes, and shoes. And I have a few more things on my wish list that I'm going to tell you guys as we go thrifting. I also wanted to thank Threader for sponsoring today's video because whatever I can't find at a thrift store, I'm going to go ahead and search it up on ThreadUp because 100% ThreadUp has everything I'm looking for. It's the world's largest online thrift store. You can find everything for up to 90% off the estimated retail, which makes shopping so much fun, especially from the comfort of your own home. And with all that, you guys, whether it's trending or not, these are some fall pieces that I would love to style. I want to ingrain it into your minds that you guys have to wear what you love. And I'm excited to try these. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, babies, we have made it and I could not be more excited because today's thrift trip is actually gonna be fun. We're looking for color. We're gonna start off here specifically in the bags. And like I said, I am gonna be definitely putting a focus on getting a lot of red today because I mean, just a look at some of these photos, which are such simple, basic outfits, but that pop of red really makes such a difference and such a statement. Bags that are like super narrow, I just don't find as practical. This one, I just really like the color of the leather. The shape of this one is actually really cute. And I like that it has super long straps and it's more of a burgundy color too. This will sit on the shoulder nicely if you do want to add a pop of color orange is a nice staple as well and then another color i've been really loving for this season is a navy navy is so underrated i feel like people haven't been styling it nearly as much as they could be and then of course brown is a given just because we're thrifting for colors today doesn't mean we're still gonna steer away from neutrals another thing i've just personally been really loving is buckles on bags i feel like it gives your outfit this vintage touch and i don't know i just really like buckle details in general i think it's so cute all right there's the bag i just showed you and then here's another one i feel like this this leather feels a little bit of a deeper tone. Oh, it's actually a coach bag. But this one's a much softer leather, so I think I'm gonna go for it instead. Okay, officially moving on to the knitwear section. In my last video, I told you guys how we were gonna come back here because I didn't feel like it was cold enough and now I feel like we could start our hunt. Here are just some inspo pictures of ones that I'm looking for. I really wanna dive into some colors here as well. So hopefully some green sweaters, blue and navy I'm loving, and the browns and neutrals, of course. Specifically, these chunky knits and cardigans I really want because they are great to layer if you don't wanna wear a jacket outside. Okay, let's start off easy with the creams and the whites. I wanna veer away from these like small stitching and look for things that are more of like a thick stitch. This jacket is kind of cool and you see this like little cable pattern. I definitely want sweaters with that. Nice thick knit but I don't love turtlenecks and mock necks so I'm passing on that. This one looks promising. Look at how beautiful this little silk tie top is. This can class up an outfit so much. I can't wait to try that. This Everlane knit is the prettiest color and I love the chunky style and I love how thick it is with the buttons. I really like cardigans like this. Even this. See sweaters with the braiding? That's something I love. Okay, first off, and then the tops, this is what I found. This sweater, I absolutely love the v-neck style. It reminds me of this navy one that I thrifted on my last trip. This is a cropped version that I thought could look really good with more high-waisted pants. And then, of course, a red cardigan. And then another sweater style that I really love is zip-ups. Specifically ones like this, super thick knitted, but it's got a little zipper here. You can wear them open or closed. And these have super long sleeves. Absolutely love this green one. It's 100% wool. The buttons are so precious, and it's such a pretty pistachio color. And then gray, you guys i never thought that i would be reaching for gray but i've been liking outfits with gray so much lately and the turtleneck situation here seems super wide so hopefully it won't bug me all right something else on my list was the overalls and you guys something i realized is that they always hide overalls in the dresses section because they're long and i already see a couple here veering away from the super tight stretchy ones i try not to get ones with elastane in it or any distressing either oh <gasps> but these ones okay they look very promising oh they are maternity though don't know if that will work but let's try it on 
So when it comes to skirts and bottoms, I'm actually getting a lot of inspiration from this. I love when you have a very, very big chunky sweater with like a smaller skirt underneath. I think it's super cute. As you guys know, I try to veer away from really many skirts, so I wouldn't wear something that short. But if it goes down to my fingertips, I'd be comfortable with it. So I'm gonna do my best to try to find ones that are a little bit longer. This one, I like that it has two layers. It's a size 10, but I will try it on. The coloring on this one is so cute. All right, this one may be too big, but it's just so similar to this photo right here to have it peeking underneath a sweater. This one's cute too, but a bit too short. This one's 100% wool, and I think it may be long enough too. Okay, I gotta say, hold the phone. I found such a stunning pair of red leather pants. Oh my God, they look like they are high rise and they even look like they would fit. As much as they are so beautiful and can be such a fashion statement, I can't even imagine putting this on. So because of that, leaving these behind. Guys, I'm not even kidding. I just spent a good 20 minutes going through every single one of these jeans in the denim section, looking for my perfect pair of boot cut denim. Even in the last trip, I wasn't able to find any, but it's okay because I'm confident that I'm gonna be able to find it on ThreadUp because ThreadUp has these amazing search filters that you could literally type off like high rise, boot cut. You could even put the inseam and the length that you want as well as this shade. So for sure, I'm gonna find myself some good ones there because going through all of these, making sure that the fit is right, the size is right, the material is right, it's almost impossible. All right, you guys, we've officially made it to the jacket section. This is definitely where I wanna thrive the most when it comes to the fall fashion because I feel like an outfit could be so basic underneath, but if you throw on a cool jacket, I mean, just look. Like I said, I definitely wanna find myself a nice brown or tan leather jacket, but on top of that, I'm still keeping my eye out for fun colors. That's red, even like yellow color blocking, like this photo is really sick. I feel like there's a lot of options, so let's get hunting. Okay, starting off with the leathers. I feel like I do already have a black leather jacket, but there's a specific silhouette I'm looking for. This one does look so nice. And if you guys can tell I'm not much into the trench coat style I personally prefer shorter jackets pretty love this color too this one is so beautiful but it's very very stiff leather which is not super comfortable I'll still try it on to see how nice it looks Ugh, unfortunately all the leather coats here are all longer versions okay hold up on the other side I just found this one this is actually such a freaking cool half leather jacket half sweater I want to say look at the stitching here and the fact that it's immersed with a sweater I mean I have to try this on and then this jacket right here I actually tried on in my last video and so many of you guys said that I should have gotten it I'm contemplating so let me try it on again because I mean it is so cool the brown jackets with like the teddy lining are probably gonna be the most comfortable for you to wear in the fall <gasps> but this one stunning length and it looks like it'll be so cozy for when we go back to Toronto for sure all right well my cart is overflowing with jackets I'm gonna pick up this little net right over here to wear under them and let's try it on so I can clear some space I found a new little corner hopefully it won't get too busy here Ugh, this jacket would have been so cool I just feel like it's a little bit too bulky especially right here at the shoulders yeah guys I was right this one is just way too stiff listen to this this one color wise style wise i would have loved so much if only it was smaller if it was like two sizes smaller it would have been perfect oh, same with this my goal is to find myself a black leather jacket in this kind of style but in my right size hopefully all right this was a jacket that i tried on last time that you guys really loved and i do really like it but again i feel like it's a little bit too boxy definitely would have picked it up again if it was a size smaller because look at this see i love it the half leather jacket, half sweater situation is exactly what I wanted because you get the stiffness, but it's tight at the shoulders. I love this one so much. And when it comes to full fashion, I spend a lot of time here in the men's section. You guys, the best jackets, the best sweaters are all found here. Starting off with just some of these jackets, how freaking gorgeous. A corduroy Teddy Levi's jacket. I mean, yes, please. They have a denim version here too. I'm not so into the acid wash, but still really cool.
it's just a couple days later. We've got everything from our thrift store shopping list, but as you guys saw, there were so many trends and things on my list that I couldn't find in the thrift store. So in just a couple of days, I was actually able to go ahead and find them on ThreadUp and get them shipped right to my door. I was able to easily search and find exactly what I was looking for in my size, in the colors that I wanted, in the fabrics that I wanted. They've got so many incredible search filters to make the hunt that much easier. So I'm gonna put outfits together using pretty much everything that we thrifted. Colorful sweaters, corduroy pants, so many of the things I couldn't find in the store. I was so happy to have found it on ThreadUp. I'm actually gonna share a favorites list of everything I'm seeing on the site that I'm absolutely loving. Literally, click the link down below. It's gonna take you to my favorites page with all of the items that I bought in the past and everything that I'm currently eyeing right now. You can either shop similar items or put these exact ones in your cart. I curated this list for you guys. Everything that's usually hard to find, it's right there. And to go ahead and make your deal even sweeter, you guys can go ahead and use the code Haley40 to get an extra 40% off your first ThreadUp order. Yes, my code used to be 30%, now it's 40% off, so the deal is even better. Okay, we're gonna start this off with a bang, you guys. I am so obsessed with this first outfit because who ever thought the pastel blue could be pulled off in such a nice fall look? And this is exactly how I'm doing it. Pair your colorful cardigans with brown neutrals. I mean, this entire outfit right here is from ThreadUp, and then this bag I actually thrifted on my last thrift trip, if you guys remember. First, I'm in love with the tiered skirt. I love them either above the knee or even a longer, kind of like a midi skirt style. I got the skirt for just $14.99 when it was estimated to cost $48. And then this blue cardigan from the brand MNG, estimated to cost $48 too, I got it for $24. I knew that I wanted to create an outfit with a blue cardigan, so when I went to the ThreadUp site, I just typed in cardigan and then I filtered it out by the color blue. And that's how I came across this one. Because the skirt is a little bit shorter, I wanted to pair with some tall boots. And these ones, I love so much. I got them two years ago from ThreadUp from the Fry brand, and I've been wearing them again and again. Taller boots like these are such a good fall go-to. And then the bag here just adds a fun bit of texture. But I wanna hear from you. Did I convince you that blue for fall is a good idea? Because it definitely is. Let me just say, I love this look so much. Okay, clearly you guys can see this is my first take on adding some red into my wardrobe. And I got a lot of inspiration for this one, okay? First of all, yes, fully thrifted outfit from ThreadUp. I was on the hunt for a red scarf in store and I could not find one. So I just typed in scarf and I filtered it out by red and I came across this one, which is the perfect thickness, the perfect length. I just wrapped it around my neck once and it's definitely a standout accessory for this look. And you guys, I found my most perfect boot cut black pants. These ones are from Topshop and you will not believe how much I got them for. They were estimated to cost $81. I just got them for $7.65. They are high-waisted, they are tight at the legs, and then they flare out a little bit at the bottom. And because they're long enough, they cover up my converse just like so. And I think it looks so good. And then finally, it's a turtleneck shirt. It would even be cute on its own without the scarf, but I fell in love with this one so much because of the fact that it was all neutral colors. Pairing a fun, bold color with neutral patterns, I think looks really good together. The scarf, definitely my new favorite one from the brand Kina, estimated to cost $16. I got it for just $8.99. We're in November right now, so we're kind of like past the pumpkin picking stage, and it's still a little bit too early to like go figure skating, but this is a really good in-between outfit if you want to do either of those things. Am I right? Next is such a freaking cozy one. Like literally, I want to wear this everywhere I go. This sweater you guys saw us thrift at the thrift store. I never thought I would get myself a gray sweater because I always tried to steer away from like the cool tone colors, but I really, really like it. I especially think that gray it looks amazing with blue and with brown. The plaid pants, colorful plaid pants. I mean, I've always had a soft spot for it. I know some people say the plaid is out of style. Again, we're not going off of trends that are currently in style. I'm going off of what I'm currently liking right now. And with a big oversized sweater on top, it kind of looks like schlumpy, but a stylish version. They're from the brand ASOS, estimated to cost $64. I got them for just $23. And the bag is a thread of find as well from a few trips back. You guys know how I always used to say I hate turtlenecks? Well, when they're big and loose like this, I don't mind them and especially with the ponytail some hair in the front I think it looks really cute okay let me try to stop saying cute you guys gave me a few vocabulary words to try out I think it looks charming darling dashing I don't know those just don't work the same <laughs> okay well this is giving Lorelai Gilmore cool mom vibe I feel like I just walked out of a 90s TV show you guys I've been wanting a red jacket so badly for so long and I can't believe I finally found my perfect one I mean the build of this I love that this comes up all the way to the neck the fact that it has all of these suede details and like a sweater in between actually makes it a jacket that's comfortable 
and right away when I saw it, I knew that I wanted to pair it with some boot cut slash flare pants. But this was the inspiration behind this outfit right over here. And I honestly love it so much. This would even look good with like a black turtleneck under, even a skirt. Like I'm thinking of so many different ways to style it. But this is the everyday go-to that if you guys find a red leather jacket, you for sure have a white tank top, blue jeans, and some white sneakers to pair with. And you can recreate this exact same look if you like it. <laughs> okay, right now for watching, let me know down below. Have I sold you on possibly wanting like one or two red pieces in your wardrobe because I know red is such an out there color and I used to not like it at all but I really feel like it makes such a difference with these looks like if this exact same jacket was black or brown it wouldn't seem as unique as this but ugh, I love it love it love it love it all right and I basically have the same outfit on with the other jacket that I thrifted I have to show you I still cannot believe that I found this it's a Levi's corduroy jacket with the teddy inside in a perfect chocolate brown color like guys this is gonna be the jacket of the season for me I'm wearing it with the same jeans and the same converse except now I have a black turtleneck underneath. You can obviously keep this neutral and not do a colorful bag, but I've been really liking this burgundy red color paired with brown. I think it's like a nice breakup to add something unique to the look. This is the bag we found at the thrift store too. And I have to say, if you guys are looking for jackets like these, I found a ton of them on ThreadUps. So I'm gonna leave some favorites down below in case you wanna shop them. But I mean, come on. If this is not a perfect fall look, then I don't know what is. Okay, well, please humor me with this next one, you guys. Remember these overalls that we thrifted at the store? First of all, how cute is this look? But keep in mind, they are maternity, so they're definitely a little bit bigger here than I would originally want. But I'm still showing you the idea, so keep this in mind if you have a pair of overalls. Fun way that I've been loving to add color into the fall is to pair a sweater underneath overalls. If it's a striped sweater, I think it's even better because it adds some kind of visual interest. And I just love the way that this looks together so much. The sweater I thrifted on ThreadUp from the brand H&M, estimated to cost $27, and I just got it for $6.50. Like $6.50, that is cheaper than most sweaters that I've been seeing in the thrift stores right now. It is in perfect condition, and I love this. This is what you want when you wear overalls. You want the sleeves, like the armpit area, to be bigger so that once you tuck it in, you kind of get this like little winged effect when you wear the overalls. And that's what gives it such a like lived in look. And then of course my black high top Converse, a great fall staple. I just love overalls so much. And every time I see them, I just have to pick them up. This is definitely one of my favorite looks by far. And let me also just say it's a double whammy. We can wear it now and I can even wear it when baby number three comes. But not yet guys, get off that radar, please. <laughs> so you guys, what do you think? Is the inspiration flowing? Are we getting creative here on how we can integrate more colors into our outfit? Outfits. Quick reminder to you guys, if you like anything that I found either on my thrift trip or in this haul, I'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys to shop my favorites and shop dupes of all of these items, integrate them into your wardrobe, and hopefully put yourself together some fun, colorful looks for the fall. Be sure to use the code Haley40 to get an extra 40% off your first thread up order. If something doesn't fit or you don't like the way that it looks, you can return it just as easily, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping all of my finds. If you guys are watching up to this point, you're the real MVPs. We love the ones who stick around all the way till the end. If you're watching up to this point, comment down below on the theme for fall, comment down below falling for color and you can also leave a little heart of which color is your favorite these are just some of my favorites to style in the fall so tell me which of these looks was your favorite and which one would you style for yourself i love you all so much thank you for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next one